Hello permaculture people. So in this video I'm going to show you how to properly plant a shrub. This also applies to planting a tree, but we're going to do it with a shrub. So the shrub I have here, this is a golden elder. It's a pioneer plant. It's going to accumulate biomass very quickly in our forest. So we're planting it here along the swales to provide shade and to provide biomass. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've dug my hole. I've dug it two to three times the size of the pot of the plant. I'm going to backfill with some manure. Just like that. This gives the plant tons of nutrient right when it starts off. And I'm going to grab the plant by its base and twist off the pot. These can be reused. They have tons of uses. I'll make a video about that later. Now as you can see, this plant is what's called root bound. So you can really see how the roots are really all jammed together. We don't want to just put this in the ground like this. So what I'm going to do is take my trusty spade because I can't really do it with my hands because it's just so root bound. I'm literally going to just stab this. I know it looks like I'm going to kill it, but trust me, all these other plants you see in the background, they all had this same treatment and they're just fine. But you see how now as I'm breaking up the roots, so this allows the plant to kind of breathe and spread its roots out quicker once we get it in the ground because it's not all bound up again anymore. See, look at that. So now it's nice and loose. I'm going to put it in the hole. You can see I put just the right amount of manure in to get it level with everything else. It's a little low. And then I'm just going to backfill. With manure around it. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit so we're at the, it's at the same height as the rest of the ground. You don't want to bury them too deep. And then we're just going to spread the manure and lightly compact it. Don't want to compact it too hard. So we want the soil to be able to infiltrate water still. Of course, this is so fluffy. There's really no way you could ever pack it so hard that water wouldn't infiltrate. And most plants don't like getting a bunch of soil on their crowns here, so I'm just going to make sure that that area is nice and clear. There we go. So the next step is we're going to create a well. Now eventually this well is not needed, but because we don't have the swales full and the ground saturated here yet with water, it's going to take the soil I dug out of the hole build a well like this. This well allows me to fill it full of water and then it'll hold the water and so it can slowly infiltrate around the plant. And the higher you big build your well, the more water you can hold. So there's the well. And now the last step, let's get that out of the way. The last step is to add the wood mulch. The wood mulch is important because it stops evaporation and protects the plant. Because remember, bare soil it is subject to desertification. So here's my scoop of wood mulch. Just gonna add a couple inches of mulch. This mulch is courtesy of Corthius Tree Care. Thank you, John, and your crew for the wood mulch. If you need any tree care done, 
call Corthius Tree Care here in Lethbridge and area. They are by far one of the best tree care guys out there. They do have aerial trucks, but these guys, they all know how to climb and rope through the trees. So they're pretty awesome. I've watched them work and it's quite astounding. So there you go. Now that it's been mulched and the well is there, and all you need to do is take your hose, put a slow trickle of water on this, and this shrub is planted. So that's my video on planting shrubs. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks everyone. Peace.